on, jump! That was close. Dog what? We can't wait forever. Come on. Yeah, don't be such a scaredy cat. This doesn't look so good. Come on. We don't have time for chickens. You should have seen us out in the lagoon, my dear. Oh, how I love to sail. Oh, and oh, how I don't. It was very generous of Uncle Dunn to give you his boat. <laughs> hmm, interesting. Reader, this town, Kowloon, why does it ring a bell? Kowloon? Didn't we have a visitor from there who brought you a special gift? Yes! Pineapple cake! How could I forget? It was so delicious! What a perfect excuse for an afternoon excursion! What? We'll just sail down to Kowloon, pick up some delectable cake, and be back in time for dinner. Floating in our lagoon is one thing, but the open sea can be quite rough. Yes, Your Magistrate. The sea is rather unpredictable, especially south of the village. Hmm, that's a good point. But it sounds like you'll make an excellent navigator. We'll be fine. I've been looking all over for you. The Magistrate and Reader are going on a boat trip. So? Well, I know how much you like boats. I thought you'd want to go and see it. Yeah, that does sound fun. Look, Jet Jet, a chicken in the marketplace. What are you talking about? I guess your brother didn't tell you that he wasn't tough enough to jump over the washer's alley. Just because you guys did it doesn't make it tough. What do you know? <laughs> <laughs> you made a good choice. You acted smart. Maybe, but I still feel pretty bad. Just do be careful, my dear. Of course, my precious plum. In fact, I'll take Dongwa with me. He'll be our good luck cat. I'm going on a boat! Ropes for. Actually, we call those <laughs> lines on a boat. The name's Wang Lo. Welcome aboard. Yep. Those lines can serve a sailor well. I remember one time we were docked in Hong Kong. If it weren't for the lines, that monsoon would have dragged us under. What's your name? Donghua. Hey, you've really been to Hong Kong? Oh, yeah. Lots of times. What a beautiful day for an adventure. Isn't that right, my seaworthy cat? That's right. I'm seaworthy. Huh? One time, it was so bad, we had to lower the sail, and we still almost blew over. It was pretty rough. Wow. It must be amazing to have so many adventures. Yep. The trick is to always use your head, or you could end up in real trouble. Rough seas! Not to worry, land ho! Thank you. Thank you. Are you all right? Yes, yes, I'm fine, Your Magistrate. Good. Then let's find out where that pastry shop is. Wow! Look at all these boats! Hey, look what the tide swept in! 
Wong Lo! I haven't seen you since that big monsoon swept you ashore last year. Who's this? Your first mate? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what a marvelous shop. I must come back soon. Hmm. We were completely lost in that storm. I knew I had to help the magistrate find his heading, or we'd never make it back. And you weren't scared? Me? Scared? No way. But after that, the sail came crashing down. The magistrate really needed my help then. That's incredible. So what um... did you do? I... I... Always trying to make new friends. Come on, we need to get home before dark. Oh, this is nothing. <laughs> nothing at all. Phew, this is rough. Are you sure we're okay up here? Yeah, it's normal to have some large afternoon swells. They'll pass. Hey, what was that story about back there? I guess I got carried away. I was just trying to tell a story like one of yours. Yeah, but mine really happened. Here's a little advice from a little sailor. Making up stories isn't going to help you make friends. Come on, let's go huh? check the lines. I'm going to get you. Hey, where's your scaredy cat brother? I told you he's no scaredy cat. In fact, he's on a sailing adventure with the magistrate right now. Oh. We'll be sure to be on the dock waiting for the big time sailor. <laughs> oh, I'm afraid we won't make it home for dinner. Or ever! Don't worry, a magistrate. We'll get there. I hope. What are we gonna do? Hmm. What would a smart sea captain do? Well, that snap line controls the sail, right? I guess we have to figure out a way to get that line down. All I know is I've seen cats climb lots of trees, and that mast looks a lot like a tree to me. I told you he'd be a lucky addition to the crew. You really showed your stuff back there. I did, didn't I? Yeah. Soon it will be dark, and they won't be able to find their way home. Cook, I want you to go to the village square immediately and make an announcement. All villagers must take their lanterns down to the wharf. If we keep following the Northern Star, we should... Oh, let's face it, we're lost. We've been following that star for over an hour and it hasn't moved one bit. Looks like the village is throwing us a little welcome home party. Ah. Whoa! Wow. What is it, Donggua? Why, it's my wonderful villagers and my lovely family. They're lighting our way home. Oh, where is he? He should have seen the lights and been here by now. Yeah! It's him! Oh, there was nothing to worry about my caring chrysanthemum. The trip was a success, thanks to our lucky cat. 
Dongwa. Without his bravery in the storm, we never would have made it home. Huh? Thanks for showing me the ropes out there. Nothing to it. Just remember, the adventures you live are always better than the ones you make up. That's great advice. Thanks for everything, Wang Lo. With many more to come, I'm sure. Well, I'd better go see if there's any bailing to do. See ya, sailor. Bye. You really saved the magistrate in that storm? You weren't scared? Of course I was scared. But after the sail line broke, I was the only one who could climb the mast and fix it. Wow. So what do you say we go jumping across some rooftops tomorrow? No way. I may be brave, but I'm no dummy. Anyway, like I was saying, I fixed the sail, then the sun was down. <gasps> Whoa, I forgot the wonderful pastries. Give up? Too easy. It's the sun. And it's so hot today, it feels like the sun's in our clubhouse. Yeah, even my wings are wilting. How you deal with the dreadful heat? Sleeping? No, no, my most perfect peach. I've been inspired by a most wondrous dream. About what? Noodles! I want to make a robe of noodles. A robe of noodles? If you're going to waste your time making things, why not work on something that might be useful? Useful? Yes. Put your energy into creating a more comfortable sedan chair, or, or finer silk, or, or something to make this awful heat go away. Oh? Yes! Of course! Create something useful! What kind of coat can only be put on wet? How do you know so many riddles? It's a game we all play back in the cave. I got a lot of time to think, especially when it's my turn to clean up. You're going to have to think of another one, because I know the answer is a coat of paint. <laughs> I wonder what's going on. Let's find out. <laughs> What are you looking for? This! It's my Uncle Koo's work. Uncle Koo? Yes, my Uncle Koo, the inventor. There was only one thing he loved more than silly riddles, and that was inventing things. My uncle would toil away on his latest invention, and I would spend hours and hours just watching him. Some of his inventions worked, <laughs> and some didn't. That never stopped him from trying. Uncle Koo always said, Sometimes grand ideas come from spoiled noodles. My uncle never gave up. Look here, his design for a portable walk, his no-hands chopsticks, 
Nonsense. I think the heat is getting to you. What's gotten to me is the fever to invent something of use for the entire palace. You know what would be great? Let's invent something to cool us off. Hey, how about a frozen parasol that drips ice on you? Yeah, or maybe a really long stick that could push the sun further away. Good one! Or a fan that attaches to your head. Oh, wait a sec. Aren't these ideas kind of too silly? I think when you're trying to invent something, no idea is too silly. Come on! So the challenge is to put our brains to the test and create some useful things. Yes, your magistrate. Reader, you will assist me. And Cook? Not to worry. I have an idea already, your magistrate. My invention will satisfy the magistrate's huge appetite for noodles. A noodle machine. Think, Reader, think. A useful invention. How about another one of me to fan us both? Baba, this heat is ruining all the lovely flowers we planted. I am so sorry, my dear. In this weather, it would take the constant rushing of a stream to satisfy our garden's thirst. <gasps> oh, I've got a great idea. Thank you for the inspiration, sweet Bardo. rock might come in handy. Anything might come in handy, since we don't know what we're going to invent. <gasps> Let's try this one more time. Not again. Wow, that's a mess. Duck! Help! No, that. Ouch! Are you sure this is how your uncle's water invention works, your magistrate? Yes, it is exactly like his drawing. Baba, what are you doing? It's the invention you inspired. A watering device for the plants outside. Um, if it's meant for the outside, then what is it doing inside? Uh, as always, my dear, a most worthy observation. machine instead. Oh well, there must be something in here we can use to make another invention. Where is it? Whew. 
That's the last pipe, your magistrate. <sighs> We're done. Not quite. There's just one more thing we need. But my uncle wrote it down as a riddle. Up and down I go, I make the water flow. What am I? Up and down I go. I make the water flow. What am I? Hey, it's a riddle. I make the water flow. Hmm. I got it. It's a pump. A pump goes up and down and makes the water flow. I know where to find a pump. The Cook's Funny Noodle Machine. That's it. <laughs> Machine, come back! <laughs> a pump, your magistrate. A pump goes up and down and makes the water flow. Of course, a pump. But where did this one come from? Huh? It was part of my invention, which, frankly, was a messy failure. Nonsense! You've saved the day. With the help of my Uncle Koo's original design, I give you a watering device for our precious garden. Harder! You must pump harder! Hmm. I don't think it's supposed to do that. We've failed. Ah, maybe not, dear. This is certainly an excellent way to cool off. That's for sure. <laughs> and the water is also helping the plants. Just like what my uncle used to say, sometimes grand ideas come from spoiled noodles. Speaking of noodles, my invention. It may not be a noodle roll. It's wonderful. What is red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple? And no one can touch it, not even you or me. Hmm. I really don't know. Ha! I finally stumped you! It's a rainbow! <laughs> <laughs>